Hello everyone, this is Hoda Ganji. In this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about the schedules. So in my project, I'm going to right click here and go with a new schedule, which is also under view, schedules, uh, schedules and quantities. Let's go with a door schedule. I'm going to click on it. OK, let's say we're going to know how many we have. And uh, I want to know what is the type of the door. And what is the type mark? I'll explain what is the type mark in a little bit. And uh, if you want, maybe you can add the width and then the height of the door as well. OK, so this is a door schedule. You see it's counting every item, which is not really necessary. By the way, if I hit Control plus, it's going to make things larger. So uh, let's talk a little bit about the settings. I want to go to like filter or sorting grouping. Uh, doesn't matter. All of you take you basically to this window. Under sorting gr grouping, I want to remove itemize every instance and see what happens. Now it's only one row. However, I want more information. So I'll go back to sorting grouping. I'm going to say don't itemize it, but sort it based on what type it is. And if I hit OK, now you see we have basically four types, four type marks, and uh, the width and the height is also mentioned, right? Uh, if I go back to like edit under sorting grouping, uh, feel free to add a second thing. For instance, I can say uh, not only sorted first based on type, but also sorted based on uh, like type mark or width, whichever is uh, larger or smaller. Okay, now it didn't change anything because um, it first went with a type. But uh, a few more settings here. First, of course, you can adjust the cell size. Okay. Uh, you can change the name if you need to change it. Uh, one other thing is about graphics. So same window uh, under appearance. Maybe I don't want to see that row, that blank row. So I want to remove a uh, blank row before that. Also, something I would like to do is go with the stripe colors. Uh, maybe we want the first one to be uh, gray, so we can say start from first or second. So these are more settings we have here. Also, if I want to change the fields, I can change it here. Uh, maybe you want the height first for some reason, you can move it up. Then height goes to the left here, and so on. Uh, let's go back to the window. You can also count grand totals, which means 38. Uh, doors we have in this project. Now, where do the type mark comes from? If I go with WT here, so I can see schedule and the floor plan at the same time. If I click on any of the door, this one is 915 by 2134. If I go to edit type, basically type mark comes from here. So type mark 20 is this one. If you want to change the type marks, you can do so. For instance, maybe instead of these four type marks, you want to go with A, B, C, D. I can make it A. It's going to change. I can make the other ones, like uh, we have a garage door, I can change this one to B, for instance. And I need to find the other doors. And the bathroom doors are smaller, so that's how I know it's a different type. I'll go with C here. And this one, I'm going to go with type D here. OK. And now that you have the schedule, if I go back to uh, the schedule properties, maybe now you want them to be A, B, C, D instead of by type. So you can go with type mark and then type, and it's going to arrange them based on type mark. You can also move the type mark up. OK. If you are wondering what is mark, I'm going to add one more thing here so we can see the difference. I'm going to move mark maybe below type mark. 
okay wherever here it says it varies it means there is more of that item then I can go back to edit and under sorting grouping I can say also consider mark right what is mark It's basically the number of each door so for instance this one is number eight this one is number one okay so um, basically uh, it's the same type this one and this one these doors are the same type but the mark is number so we can know which one is which one and when you go with annotate uh, tag when you tag a door which I need to load one now let me show you how you can load a tag I'm gonna go to my uh, annotations and I'm gonna looking I'm gonna look for a door tag if it's not here, maybe we should go to architectural and door tag is here. Okay. Uh, by the way, if you don't want to see that ellipse, uh, of course, you can always go back to edit family. For instance, I want to hit tab, erase this. You can also change the size of the text, load it into project, override the existing, and that's how you can change it. You can also remove uh, the line here. So there are different changes you can do. Now, if you want it to be tagged, but you want the tag not to show the mark, right now it's showing the mark. See, if I tag this one, this is eight, that is one, that is 10. Maybe you want the type mark, then again, we'll go to this family and you click on this number under label instead of mark, I want to say that I would like to know the type mark. So I'm going to send type mark over there and I'm going to move mark back, load into project, override. Now it's going to show the type marks instead. If you want both, again in that family thing, we can go with both. For instance, I can move mark over there and I'm going to say uh, separate them with a comma, OK and load into project override now it's showing both the type mark a b c d and the mark which is one two three and so on uh, in my door schedule i want to remove mark at this point i don't think uh, we need it okay so basically we have four doors four door types let's also make a legend right click new legend um, i want to name it door legend and the skill I can go with um, 12 to 1 okay in my door legend I can go TW I'm gonna go with annotate add a legend component I'm gonna click on it and here I can change it to a door this is one of the doors this is in plan. I want to copy that also here. And I want to also see that in uh, front view. Uh, by the way, that family that we, that we modified, I want to close it. Maybe I don't want to save my changes because in a different project, I would rather it be different. I'm going to go with WT so I can see my other views too. Maybe I can close this one. And now I want to go with TWWT so I can see legend and schedule at the same time. Uh, I can also change the scale later. Let's say maybe we want to go with uh, one inch to one feet. I might even go uh, a little bit larger. So I'm going to go with one inch to one. Now let's see what if I add a text here and I'm going to say this is uh, 14 by... 16 you can also change the text for instance here I can edit type duplicate and I, I'm gonna say I want one which is five millimeter okay and for the text size I want to type 5 mm which is five millimeters okay and uh, this should be good feel free to also add the type mark so I'm gonna copy this here I want to add uh, a maybe okay then these four items I want to use some detail icons here and I want to maybe uh, copy this from here to here 
and I want to change this door to my next door and change this to my next door I can move this up and uh, this other one is this one uh, which is 864 by 2134 I should go with all metric or all imperial but uh, I'll leave that up to you this is my door C actually and I went to copy this uh, I will leave C here I'm gonna change this other one to B and B is actually this one was B Uh, so my door A, so I'm going to go with A here, A is 915 by 2134, so I'm going to change this to 915 by 2134, 915 by 2134. And I also have a door D, let me move this up. This I want to actually change to C here. And finally, I will have D here. Just be a little bit careful. C is 864, so I'm going to change this to 864, 864. And finally, the last one is here. And the final one, I should also fix this name, which is 9. One five, and here this is the right name. I need a few more uh, lines here, so I'll go back with detail line, close this area, uh, one line here. Maybe I should move these four ticks a little bit to the left, and I want to copy this line here and here. So that is the door legend and here we have the door schedule. That's it for this video. Please like and subscribe for more videos. Thank you so much.